What's up guys and welcome back to The Split with Legit. For this week's episode, I'm gonna switch things up a bit. So let's talk FIE football. The FIU Panthers fell short to the Liberty Flames 36 to 34 in their season opener, but not without putting up a fight. Within seconds of the start of the game, sophomore kick returner Lexington Flex Joseph had an electric 100 yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Later in the game, he also had another kickoff return at 65 yards, but I'll get back to him a little later in the show. Now, do you remember in my very first episode, I gave you one offensive player to look out for, senior running back Devontae Price. To no surprise, Price had a stellar performance after waiting three long years to get the starting position. He scored three touchdowns, rushed 13 times for a career high of 148 yards. He's averaging 11.4 yards per rush, which is currently the best in the Conference USA. The mystery behind who would be the starting QB was finally revealed in last Saturday's game. Redshirt freshman Stone Norton was the third quarterback to touch the field, but he played the entire second half of the game, completing 9 of 13 passes for 120 yards and two touchdowns. He did take four sacks, but had zero turnovers. Now joining me on today's episode is Conference USA's Special Teams Player of the Week, Flex Joseph. He currently leads the conference in all-purpose yards per game. Welcome, Flex, to the split with Legit, and congrats on winning Player of the Week. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. Happy to be here. Now, you won this week's Conference USA Special Teams Player of the Week thanks to that amazing 100-yard kickoff return. Now, can you tell us a little bit about that play and what was going through your mind at the time? Well, over the, over the course of training camp, we worked hard. Like It was a huge emphasis on special teams. And as you know, football is a team sport, so I couldn't do it without the other 10 other players on the team. And I had the most confidence that everyone was going to make their block. So I seen a hole and hit it, and from there I used my speed to get to the end zone. I mean, I was personally watching. Um, it was pretty funny because obviously FIU played on national television on ESPNU, and I was just going to post on Instagram, oh, well, you know, watch the game. It's on national television. And within that first nine seconds, here you come just going through every hole that you see, no defender in sight. Um, and it was definitely exciting from a um, fan standpoint. So once again, congratulations on that. So you're a Miami local, you're a Miami Central grad, you kept your talents here in the 305, and you're already doing such big things at FIU. Do you emulate your style of play after any NFL players? possibly Dalvin Cook? Yeah, like watching Dalvin Cook do what he did at Florida State and the Minnesota Vikings inspired me. Like to see someone come from the same high school as me and excel on that higher level gave me a lot of motivation. With that being said, do you see yourself as a multi-purpose offensive threat or special teams specialist? I feel like both. Like personally, I feel like I, I do anything to help the team win. Like coach asked me to do something I don't care about how many carries I get, how many receptions. If it's special teams, I'll do it to the best of my ability. As you said, you are a team player, and that definitely shows on the field. But within the next year or so, are you looking to take that number one spot at running back? Yes, because I learned a lot from the guys before me, Anthony Jones, Napoleon Maxwell, and right now Devontae, Devontae Price. Like They were great mentors to me, and I know you have to wait your turn, so I'm patiently waiting to, to become that number one running back. Obviously, the season just started, but you guys have a bye this week and won't be playing till the following week, which will be FIU's home opener in addition to FIU's homecoming game. So is there anything specific that you and the team are working on in order to get that first dub? To put on the show, protect the cage. It's the first home game, so I have to put on the show for the fans that's going to be there and just rock out. Thank you so much for joining me today, Flex, and make sure to tune into next week's game as the Panthers take on Middle Tennessee on October 10th at 4 p.m. on ESPNU. Now let's talk some Canes football. The newly ranked number eight Miami Hurricanes demolished the Florida State Seminoles 52 to 10 for a fourth straight rivalry win. This was the highest scoring victory in the series history since it started back in 1951. Quarterback De'Ara King completed 29 of 40 for 267 yards and two touchdowns. He also led the Canes with 65 yards on eight carries, making him a contender for the Heisman Trophy and the ACC QB of the Week. 
Safety Bubba Bolden had four tackles, two for loss, a sack, an interception, and a pass deflection that led to another pick and a forced fumble. Running back Don Chaney ran for 35 on seven tries, scoring his first two touchdowns, and his teammate Cameron Harris also ran for 43 yards on 12 carries. Four weeks, four phenomenal wins, but the biggest test thus far still lies ahead. Miami also has a bye this week, but will face the number one ranked Clemson Tigers on October 10th for the first time since the 2017 ACC Championship at 7.30 p.m., so that's another primetime game on ABC for the Kings. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you this week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.